the suspect arrested after an FBI raid in Fort Lauderdale facing a federal judge today. He's a convicted felon described as a volatile white supremacist. Local 10's Sanella Sabovic is live in Fort Lauderdale with an update. Sanella. Nicole, 32-year-old Paul Miller did make that federal court appearance today, although it was a virtual one. He did not have an attorney presence that he could afford one and wanted one, so the judge pushed back the hearing to this Friday. A shackled Paul Miller returning back to the main jail in Fort Lauderdale. U.S. Marshals escorting him out earlier in the day only to make a federal court appearance via video. Miller did not have a lawyer representing him today. He requested to obtain one, a judge pushing back the hearing so that one can get up to speed on his case. Orlando attorney Mark O'Mara, who represented George Zimmerman, was set to be taking on the case. Miller was arrested by the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force during an early morning raid Tuesday in Fort Lauderdale on a charge of possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. Yeah, you're a little His threatening and hateful rhetoric also put him on their radar. He's seen on video spewing hateful messages that were live streamed across both popular and lesser known social media sites, often dressed as movie characters, taunting people with vulgar language, racial and homophobic slurs, along with anti-Semitic rants. In some videos, a swastika is seen behind him. Why are you two such fat, disgusting Ugh. The Anti-Defamation League tweeting out their Center on Extremism identified Paul Miller as a volatile white supremacist accelerationist and shared their findings with the feds, saying Miller was making videos holding weapons and calling for a race war. We reported uh, Paul Miller in October to the New Jersey uh, law enforcement authorities. And then by the end of the month, Paul had um, moved. We, we tracked him to Florida. ADL researchers saying their intel led to Miller's arrest. We feared in this case that that Paul Miller could escalate his activities. And in court today, Miller said that he was, quote, sorry about all of this. It's unclear if he was sorry about not having an attorney present or if he was sorry about what he is accused of, if he is feeling any type of remorse. We did reach out to Mark O'Mara, the attorney that was mentioned in court today. His office tells me that he was not available for an interview and they would not confirm or deny if he is even representing Miller. And Miller, again, will make that federal court appearance this Friday at 10 in the morning. That's the latest here from Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.